But first, the deadly attacks continue tonight in Israel as airstrikes light up the sky for the second night. More than 700 people are dead, four of them Americans, as Hamas unleashes its fury of terror. Got a lot to get to tonight at 10. I'm Marley Ginter. And I'm Tony Lopez. We start in Tel Aviv tonight where daylight is just breaking. Reporter Haley Ott with the shock and sadness still sinking in. We've been speaking to families here in Israel who are desperately searching for missing loved ones as the death toll from the surprise attack continues to climb. The Israeli government formally declared war on Hamas after a devastating surprise attack killed hundreds of civilians and members of the military. This is war and we have to fight that war and win it. We have to destroy the Hamas war machine. On Sunday, Israeli airstrikes lit up the sky over Gaza as officials vow a long fight against Hamas. Several hundred Palestinians have been reported killed in the violent aftermath of the attack on Israel. They infiltrated uh, Israeli territory and killed uh, hundreds of Israelis. At least 600 were butchered yesterday, including whole families, elderly uh, women, children, Babies were taken out of their mothers, lapped and murdered. Israeli forces are still working to remove Hamas fighters holed up in several towns in southern Israel. The assault isn't over. There continue to be, uh, to be very active fighting uh, around Gaza. The leader of the Palestinian terror group says militants in Gaza are holding dozens of Israeli hostages and will not release them until all Palestinian prisoners in Israeli jails are freed. Dozens of people have flocked to this center set up in Tel Aviv for families of the missing or those taken hostage. They've come for any information. They're even leaving DNA samples in the hopes that that could help find their loved ones. 23-year-old Hirsch Goldberg Poland has been missing since the attacks. Goldberg Poland's father says he received two short phone messages at one point saying, quote, I love you and I'm sorry. The Israeli government press office says over 100 people were kidnapped in the attack. For the families of the missing that I spoke to, they describe every moment that they can't find their loved ones as torture. Haley Ott, CBS News, Tel Aviv. Haley, thank you. Part of the U.S. response is sending a USS carrier strike group to the eastern Mediterranean to Israel as it battles Hamas after the vicious attacks.